thinking is you guys, uh, you know, go forward. Obviously, have a week of, you know, game film with Friday, Sean, and TC. Um, was there anything that, that you saw that kind of gives you an indication or, or just any feelings of, you know, what this defense could be? Talk about that concept. Just kind of just moving forward, having a game of change. Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest positive in the game was we did some really good things in the run game. I mean, we held uh, – a, a team that's really good running the football quite a bit under their average. Uh, one of the big goals for us going into the game was not give up explosive plays in the run game, and we did a really nice job of that. So I thought I thought some of the adjustments that the coaches made, the kids made, uh, showed up in that regard. Now, obviously, that's got to carry over to the pass defense, um, and, and we've got to limit it there. Um, and so, but I thought that I. It, Looking at the game to me was the single biggest uh, improvement that was made. And yeah, sure, sure you can. I mean, it's you know, you think about these systems and all that. I mean, it takes you know months and months and at times you know years and years of players to get them to play at a high level. So you know, all of a sudden you're making a couple of tweaks here in a in a short amount of time um, and kind of doing it in the middle of playing some good, really good competition. So, uh, but we've got to make week two of it our advantage. Uh, we've got to be we've got to be better at it. The staff's got to be better. Like everything should be a little bit cleaner this week. And we were very clear with the guys of what they did uh, well on Monday. We were very clear on the things that have to improve if we if we are going to play the way that we expect to play on Saturday. Rick, and you haven't had many extended losing stretches in your time as a coach. You know, going back to 2010, I think was the last time that you had like a stretch kind of like this. Yeah. Where that experience, you know, what do you remember about that stretch? And maybe what it, did you learn as a coach? Going yeah. through that once before. Yeah, no, that was probably the toughest year, uh, you know, that I've that I've had as a coach. And uh, you know, it's year year two at, at East Carolina. We got off. It's just, uh, maybe in some ways similar to this. We the, the program wasn't in in uh, uh, wasn't in a tough place like this one was when we took it over. But we'd had a you know a decent first year. Um, came back second year. Had a bunch of injuries. A bunch of things didn't go our way. We didn't we didn't play well at times. We lost a couple of really close ones. Um, I remember it was a really tough year to go through. I'd never been through anything like that. I was kind of down in the dumps for a while, honestly. Um, what came out of that, um, though, was, yeah, I think it pushed me to be better. It pushed the program to be better. Um, we found some guys that were really, really tough, hard-minded kids, especially uh, some of the young guys in that program at the time that then, you know, took off to becoming – Kind of what we became the next several years, so it it really became a springboard there, and I think that's that's probably the biggest thing that I learned from it. And then I think that you gotta, you know, I was I was young then or younger. I, I like to think younger, but um, and you know, I like a lot of people. It, you know, at that point, I, I rode the emotional roller coaster uh, as a coach. I just hadn't been through it enough yet, especially when I had the type of responsibility like I had there. Um, I didn't have probably as much perspective. Um, now, I, I stay a little bit more even keeled because I, I I know what the good is. Like, I know what the bad is. I know what we got to do to fix it. I know what it's going to take. I know that we're going to get it done. And you've got to be able to take any situation that comes up. Again, whether you, you win a close game, you know, you make that play at the end or you don't, there's still a whole lot else that's going to have to continue to improve to go where we want to go. And, and, and I know that. And, so, and I know we're going to get there. So. It's just kind of one day at a time right now. Uh, put your put the right foot in front of the left and just keep and keep moving. And uh, you do that, you got the right people, you got the right place. Uh, then good things are going to happen, and that's what's going to happen here. One of the biggest things that you emphasized this offseason was bringing in competitive depth to this program. As you come off a game this season, is probably the, where the depth has been tested the most. How do you assess the job that you guys did bringing in that depth this offseason, both for the transfer and high school level? Um, I think we, I think some of the depth has shown on the on the offensive line. Um, we've played obviously some some different units, some different guys. We've been able to withstand a, a season-ending inj injury early in the year to one of our starters, um, and 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 I would say honestly, kind of the same thing on the defensive line really as well. I mean, you lose a starter, you know, in, in, in solo right there at the beginning of the year, um, and and so yeah, I mean, I think there's been some positives there. I think could we, is there areas where we want more? Do we have to be better in those spots? Yes. Um, yeah, I think the secondary is, is one of the one of the groups. Obviously, the other day it was it was fairly extreme. It's one of those I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if it matters how many people you have if you got the number of people out or limited that we had. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's better, uh, but needs to get better, and that's that's going to be a year by year process to continue to build on these things.
Uh, I don't. I don't. He's uh, he's he's not with us right now. But that's all. Is there any urge to kind of see what you have? Maybe have to pay to find the first one now and bowl game. Bowl game is probably you know a, a different conversation. Um, you know specifically for a lot of these guys because it doesn't count in terms of their their four game red shirt. Uh, right now, it's you know anything we can do. Any player that we can use to, to go play well and, and win this game this Saturday, and that, that's been the focus now. So, you know, we're now if, you know if we've got guys in any of the positions that, that aren't playing at a high level or not getting it done, if we've got somebody that we want to take a look at, we're not going to hesitate, um, even though you know the importance of this game coming up. Uh, but uh, yeah, you're, you're probably talking about two different conversations. What have you thought of the job that Chip has done at UCLA this season, obviously turning around the defense with the offense and stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to time it out sometimes where, where it all you know clicks at the same time and, and they've obviously had some uh, you know had some you know different lineups obviously different quarterbacks and all that offensively and they lost they obviously lost some really good players from last year's offense so um, you know it's probably where it lies there I don't want to I'm not there so I don't want to pretend I know what's happened it, defensively they've done a really nice job I mean they, they got they got a tremendous front seven uh, those guys have stayed stayed healthy, they've been consistent, and they've really driven that defense, and they've got some good play out of the back end as well, and just been really, really consistent. Um, and and uh, so, yeah, I mean, they've, they've done a really good job, and it shows you, you know, when you get that right group together and you can get a little bit of momentum like they have defensively, you can really push it and ride it on any side of the ball, and you got to give them credit. They've done a really nice job. Let's see one more. Lincoln, you talked a little bit about, you know, this last spring, last fall, taking a little bit more of an active role in, in the defense. Just curious right now, are you, you know, with two interim DCs, are you, do you feel like you're taking a little bit more of a role? Do you see that, you know, as a point of emphasis just for yourself as a coach moving forward maybe in the future of this program? Yeah, I've, I've definitely, you know, spent more time with those guys here the last couple of weeks trying to, trying to help them where I can and, and, and give them perspective. And, you know, it's not the, you know, I've been in that position too, and it's not the easiest position to step into, especially just considering the timing, circumstances, um, kind of where we're at in the season, where we're at in the schedule, all of that. So, yeah, I want to provide support, as much support to those guys as I can, and I've certainly spent a little bit more time over there in the last week and a half. Um, yeah, and I think going forward, it's a, there, there's a lot of questions to be answered there. Obviously, a lot of this is going to change and unfold here over, over the next several weeks, and um, I think like anything, we'll, we'll, we'll make the changes that we're going to make. Uh, we'll, we'll get this group together. We'll decide what the best course of action is in terms of, you know, uh, person that we bring in, um, how that changes, you know, roles on the current staff, roles on the future staff. I mean, it's, it's a really big picture question that we look forward to answering as this all evolves.